When we understand the medicine wheel, when we understand our Aboriginal spirituality is a gift of the Creator for us as various different peoples, and that gift is like our first testament. That's the first way, the original way, that the Creator gave for us to come to know Him. And as to my Teaching the teachers is a big focus of the Building Bridges project when it comes to the process of teaching and learning Catholic catechetics the First Nations way. Cultural sensitivity is key, and for non-Aboriginal teachers, it begins with an understanding of how the teacher is also the learner. First Nations people already understand this. And as time went on, we continue with our lives and we get introduced to the Son of the Creator, Jesus. And so it's like we just expand and expand and expand our circle of, of knowledge of God. And so that's what Parker I... Palmer wrote a book called The Courage to Teach. And he talks about teaching, the great idea, the great topic, the real life issue. It takes your lifetime to learn about this, how to live this way. How the helper was sent out. That's the subject that sits in the middle. And the circle around that subject is made up of the pupils, and the teacher is also a pupil. And when you have a great thing, it's a great thing for your whole life. And so what I learned is that the Aboriginal way, when you have a great thing, it's a great thing that we would keep talking about. We have a little story that goes with this, where this baby was taken to the seven grandfathers, their, their lodge, and she was given these seven sacred gifts by the seven grandfathers that sat around that circle. And then that little boy was given a bundle to carry and to go back to his people. So on his return back, he would travel Teaching for a while. in the Aboriginal way is different than teaching uh, at school. And uh, at school, that lesson's going to be taught today. It might be briefly reviewed tomorrow, and then it's gone. But when we're looking at the medicine wheel as a teaching uh, medium, the whole idea of being able to apprehend and absorb it just intellectually without entering into the living of the great thing isn't going to work. So on his return back, he would travel for a while, then he would stop. And here at each stop he was given a teaching on these. And then they would move and go on, continue on their journey. By the time this boy reached his village, his hair was white. He was an old man. Which shows that, you know, like you learn about these things, not in one hour, not in one day, but it takes you a lifetime to learn about this, how to live this way. You take a topic whether that might be a passage of scripture or one of the traditional stories, and start reflecting on the associations that are already there with the medicine wheel, and say, how do those concepts in the medicine wheel relate to these concepts? How do they interface with one another in the, the gospel? Put together your medicine wheel for yourself. It does not have to be like any one of these, they're just some ideas. We're just beginning on this journey of exploring the possibilities of using the medicine wheel for catechesis, of seeing how it connects with the great commandment uh, of Jesus, that we are to love God with our whole heart and mind and strength and soul. And that could be linked to the four directions of the medicine wheel and how we need to be uh, fulfilling all those areas with our whole body, our whole being, our whole thought. And the medicine wheel is, of course, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. And uh, so that's a, a way that it could maybe connect in terms of just doing some theological reflection. For non-Aboriginal catechetical teachers, the starting point is cross-cultural awareness, and to understand that not only do they stand in front of a great culture that has survived impossible challenges, but that their Aboriginal partners are way ahead when it comes to cross-cultural experience. 
First Nations people are constantly in a cross-cultural situation. They have no choice. That's a challenge. We can choose to go to a reserve or to go to a powwow or, or, or to, to, to meet First Nations people or not. They, they almost can't because every day they're, they're faced by doctors, lawyers, nurses, teachers, whoever. They're always faced with uh, people of, of another race. They are a minority in their own culture, in their own country. That's something that I think we need to understand to maybe uh, help us to forge a new relationship with the First Nations people of this country, but also to appreciate their experience, their history. The medicine wheel and different ways that we live... For Aboriginal catechetical leaders, the task is sometimes a matter of awakening their Catholic parishioners to the possibilities of reviving their cultural traditions as an explicit part of how they understand and practice their faith, and that this integration of the traditional with the good news of their Catholic faith is today very much encouraged by the Church. Now we use the sacred symbol as a teaching tool to explain concepts and things that we can't see. When I start listening to what the medicine wheel is, how to balance our life, and I just kind of uh, think about it and meditate on it. Am I doing that? Am I balancing my life? It helps us to see and understand the changes that we go through life, our journey of life. I care about the people. I care about them. I, I want them to, to see how Jesus can, can help them in their life and, and, and be able to use their traditions if they wish. Not everybody does, but, you know, if there is, then, you know, doing the explanations and helping them to, to really feel that, yes, I can do this. I can use my traditions, you know, which for me have deepened my own spirituality made my faith stronger. <laughs>